It was so humid and so hot uh, when we left. That's basically why we left ex right away. My daughter, you know, luckily she lives in Ann Arbor, so we spend uh, four days there, and I don't know when it's going to come, you know, so it's really bad. The Hamids in Royal Oak still without power. They thought they were in the clear after Wednesday's storm because the lights stayed on. But at around 1 a.m. on Friday, they unexpectedly found themselves in the dark. While DTE and Consumers Energy have restored power to the majority of their customers who lost it, about 800,000, some are keeping their fingers crossed it will finally be restored sometime today. Hoping that the that the promise of our our electricity being on tonight will, will come true so we can survive. The Attorney General's office is calling on DTE and Consumers Energy to voluntarily credit customers affected by the outages. It also wants to see the utility companies create a fund to assist displaced customers during significant power outages. Meanwhile, Jeannie Truppiano is making the best of things, a borrowed generator powering her refrigerator. The break in the heat and humidity also making the situation more bearable. It's loud <laughs> because of oh, generators, but aside from that, we're doing fine. We're doing just fine. It's a little, a little bit like camping out. And, you know, I've learned that there, when you can't do anything about it, you know, you, you just deal. In Royal Oak, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News.